Hi everyone, welcome to Stogie Geeks News for October 9th, 2015. I'm your host, Paul Asadorian, joined on the lines via Skype by Mr. Will Cooper. Welcome, Will. Hey, greetings, Paul. What's going on in the world of cigars this week, Will? Well, I think there's a lot going on with um, Camacho. This, And there's three new releases coming from the Camacho umbrella, um, mainly Camacho and the Border of the Bold brands. Why don't I just kind of uh, kind of go right into it? Yeah. So the so the first one is this is a cigar that actually they showcased at IPCPR. It's a new limited edition by Camacho called the Camacho Shellback, and this the name Shellback actually it refers to a sailor or a marine who was actually crossed the equator for the first time. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a milestone or rite of initiation. Hmm. Um. What you'll see with the blend, and this is kind of an on ongoing theme with these Camacho releases, is there's more Nicaraguan tobacco, seems like these Camacho releases are having. The Shellback's going to have a Habano Ecuador wrapper, I guess for equator, along with Nicaraguan binder and filler, and it's going to be available in one size, a 6x50. And there's some pictures actually on Cigar Coop of the cigar, and it's got this black and green band, which looks really cool. Yeah, I think the rebranding and reblending of all of the Camacho cigars after the acquisition by Davidoff, um, I think they've done a really great job with it. I, I still like my throwback kind of Camacho cigars, but I'm enjoying the new stuff as well. So it's pretty cool to see a company make a transition like that. Coop, do you remember what the cigar was, the original Camacho with the yellow band on it? it was like a, the, go ahead. The, the Camacho Havana? Yeah, Havana. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I smoked uh, a Churchill one of those. It was awesome. It was awesome. Now, of course, it's been sitting around for a long time, but it was really good. Uh, but then I smoked the new stuff, and I, I really like their new stuff too. So props to them for, uh, for keeping it going and, and making that transition, which isn't necessarily an easy one. No, and, and I agree. I think, you know, and we've talked about it a lot. When you do a, a transition and a rebranding like they've done, um, that's pretty significant and, you know, it's a big risk, you know, as, as you know, from, uh, the corporate world. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. What else you got, Will? Well, the next cigar coming out of Camacho is, this is a new, um, cigar coming under the Didka line. Um, and this is called the Didka Game Time. And, you know, did Mike Didka, it, um, joined Camacho probably about three years ago and, there's been oh, several releases he's had. Most of them have been limited. This is going to be another limited release. Um, it's going to come in one size, a 6.5 by 54 Gigante in box of 20. And again, that um, the blend is going to be with a Nicaraguan wrapper, Brazilian Matafina binder, and the combination of Dominican and Honduran filler. So these, these should also be hitting the shelves sometime this month. Um, again, kind of really standout packaging here. It's got... Uh, a green and black similar uh, design to the shellback, but a different shade of green to look more like a football field. Um, the cigars look pretty nice too. From there's a picture of that also on Cigar Coop. Is that that's the Ditka cigar you said? That's the Ditka Game Time. So I, it was interesting. Funny, I was listening to morning radio, and they were talking about how they saw Mike Ditka at an event, and he's like, "Oh, he's smoking a cigar," and I don't know what he knows about cigars. He's actually a cigar aficionado, dude. <laughs> like, I wanted to call the radio station and be like, "No, dude, like, he's the real deal." And in fact, the cigars that are branded with Ditka are actually really good. So, they are, and I think you know he's had some previous iterations, and I don't think they've had the quality like like the ones he's had. And um, you know, he's he's really interesting too. I, I had a, I have had a chance to sit down with him. He basically told me, you know what, as far as these cigars go, he, he's not a blender, and nor does he claim to be a blender. Mm -hmm. He knows what he likes. He said, right. bring, bring me your best stuff, and I'll, I'll kind of give it the thumbs up or thumbs down. So I give him credit for being very honest on that. Yeah, he's put his name on some good stuff. So uh, as far as, you know, I, I think we've seen a lot of cigars over time, Will, that have the personality or public figure attached to them, and they're kind of like hit or miss. Dick is one that was really big next door at the Havana Cigar Club. So, uh, and I've smoked them and liked them. So, yep, totally, totally agree. Yep, I've uh, I actually enjoyed. He did a very good Connecticut release called the Player, which was extremely limited. It came in a coffin. I think you would have liked that one. Interesting. Yep. Yeah, I've got some in my humidor that I picked up. They just came into the Havana Cigar Club. They don't have the green label on them. I haven't put them in the review cycle yet, but. Um, 
I'll review those coming up. I'm not sure which ones they are. There's a yeah, there's plenty. There's a there's um a, there's a touchdown or throw. I'm sorry, throwback. There's a Ditka '89. Yeah. Uh, there's a Ditka signature. So there's uh one has like the Dallas Cowboy colors. That's the Ditka signature. Okay. And then one has the Bears colors, which is the Ditka '89. It must be the Ditka '89 that I have. So look. Yeah, for that's that. a very good cigar. Okay, that's look for good. that review coming up on a future episode of Stogie Geeks. What else you got, Will? Well, we got another uh, Border the Bold release. Um, this one is called Johnny Tobacco Nut, and it comes from uh, our friend Matt Booth. So I guess. Oh, the best have way- you smoked this yet? Yes. What did you do? You want to hold it for the show, or it had okay. I'll I'll I'll, I'll give a little uh, a teaser uh, preview. Yeah, it had qualities like the Davidoff Nicaragua. Gotcha. And it's a Nicaraguan puro. I don't know what the blend is, and it, it whether it's how similar or how different it is, but it just struck me from looking at the wrapper, and maybe that kind of played into my head a little. Right. But it didn't smoke exactly like it either. Yeah, it had. Um, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, it, but it's a Nicaraguan puro. It comes in those uh, those figurado shapes that Matt Boots is known for. And you know, I guess when I saw this release, that the first thing that came to mind is Matt Boots goes to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put anything past Matt Boots. I, I would not put it past him either. I can't wait to smoke that one, especially if you're saying it has qualities of the Davidoff Nicaraguan. We've both reviewed that cigar very highly in the past, so. Yeah, I mean, I had this, uh, I had this cigar coming out of the IPCPR. I didn't review it, but mm-hmm. I kind of just smoked it. Yep. And it was very impressive, and 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 I'm people who have smoked it. It's been pretty consistent. What's coming out with that as well. Right. Cool. Anything else for this week, Will? Um, just one more for folks. Uh, this will kind of be a little bit of a preview for next Thursday, but. Um, Matilde has released their second uh, line, the Matilde Escura. And uh, for folks who don't know Matilde, that is the company owned by Jose Sejas, who will be a guest on October 15th, Stogie Geeks. Um, this, I'll say this, this is a cigar I have smoked. It was one of the best cigars I had at IPCPR. Mexican San Andreas wrapper, Sumatra binder, and uh, Dominican Nicaraguan and USA fillers. Um, coming in three sizes, a Corona, a Robusto, and a Toro Bravo. And I smoked the Corona and the Robusto, and I was amazed by this cigar. Mm. Cool. Well, that does it for this edition of Stogie Geeks News. You can check out the Stogie Geeks every Thursday night at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, where we interview people from the field. We do a debonair ideal segment. We review probably five to seven cigars each uh, both Will and I per week. So you want to make sure you check that out. SuiGeeks.com forward slash live. You can watch the show live and participate in our brand new chat room, uh, which went very well last night. So make sure you check that out. SuiGeeks.com forward slash live. You can also check out all of the latest cigar news and reviews on Cigar-Coop.com. Coop, thanks as always. And thanks everyone for watching. <laughs>